Hi, it's Wasabi, welcome back to the channel. Today's battle's on the Serene Coast map, and we've got Kawabunga Ravi from Lemon Clan, and he's in the M3Y. This is the Tier 8 uh, heavy tank, the new Yo tank line. So this follows on from the M2Y, which um, we had a review of yesterday and some gameplay. Uh, this time we're not going to do a review of the tank itself, um, as now there is more information now. Uh, more particularly in tanks.gg, which will give you more information on the armor layout, uh, which you can see the strengths and weaknesses of. Now he's blocking the top turret, um, you can tell because of the basket on the back, the standard turret doesn't have that basket, uh, which means he's able to mount the top gun, which is the 105mm, and it's got a uh, standard 208pin uh, for the uh, AP round, and it's APCR for the uh, premium round with standard pen of 245. So, average damage 320, if we didn't mention that. Um, the strongest part of the turret facing is 279, but the hull is 177. But it does now sport 10 degrees of gun depression, which we're just seeing part of it here. So, it puts a nice shot into the STA2. you are in this sort of hold down position getting full advantage of the um, the 10 degrees and sort of the upper front plate is pretty much impenetrable because it'll with the stream angle it'll just ricochet. And here we've got the side of a lover who's obviously facing a different target. So he puts one shot in and as mentioned you know, he's reloading within about nine seconds which is pretty good for a heavy tank so and he's just get another shot into the lower front plate of the lever and he's taken out of the game. So there's a snap back towards that STA2 that he damaged before, but unfortunately that misses. Um, so, alright, just uh, coming across here. Bit of a challenge sometimes driving across this bridge if you're not paying attention. It's quite easy to fall off, in which case you're more likely to drown, so you don't want to do that. Let's make the mini map a little larger. Um, but yeah, so the, this is actually now getting rated as a pretty good tier 8 heavy tank, so definitely worth, well worth researching. Um, it might, in fact some people are calling the best tank in the line, but even though the tier 10's got some interesting characteristics to it. It looks a bit like a tier 10 version of the Concept 1B actually. Um, but uh, we'll wait till we get some gameplay from that. Here he is now facing the 7032, the double barreled heavy tank. Yeah, this is an old tier 8 game by the way, we didn't make that clear. So pretty much even Stevens in terms of the matchmaking. And the Ravi is teamed with a um, KPZ 07RH. And then Harry's found a Pichetto. There you get a monster. He gets another shot into him, yeah, which tracks him. And he's turning around for a bit of a rampule, which he doesn't quite get, but his platoon mate finishes him off. Well, that's a bit of action going on on the 1 2 line, um, so we'll see how that affects the game. But this is more about Ravi in this tank here, so, and how well does the tank perform? So he's being a bit cautious here, doesn't want to walk straight out in front of the um, 703. And the tanks he's with are also paying him the price for doing that exactly. So it's quite a mess of tanks there, so I think the is saying, right, let's try and flank this lot. So let's uh, see how quickly the tank travels. It's got a reasonable acceleration, it's getting up to 30k here, getting mid 30s. Across the terrain, slightly less as he's going through a bit of a hill. So, reasonably maneuverable for a heavy tank. Right, well, he's got no plant tiger here, he can back up. And now he's got a scorpion, he bangs. Plant tiger's going down, there's the SD8, no, there's the Primo Victoria. She uh, manages it to demolish. The scorpion behind the scorpion is just fired, so he's going to be able to put a shot into him without any retaliation. Takes him down to minimal hit points. So, starting to take a little bit of damage. 
in fact there's another whack taken in the by Basante, so he's lost 750 health to the Basante, and two shots gets the kill on the Scorpion, removes that threat. The Basante is pretty much one shot of all aces at this TA2, so if one comes up first, the target is going to go down, which it does. He's still firing standard rounds here, so he's certainly got enough penetration. Basante is gone, now it's the 703 2. Looks like he's got the rear of him too, so goes for the engine deck, which he does, and sets him on fire. So he's obviously damaged the fuel tanks above and beyond. Maybe they were damaged already. Gets the kill shot. So it's taken Ravi in fairly short space of time. He's added another 1500 hit points to his target. And it just looks like that Type 59 is going to cap out. I'm just as in going forward, he doesn't have a lot of hit points left. Anyway, can Ravi score any more damage out of this game. Let's, let's see. Okay, he's got his platoon mate still there. He's pushed forward and instead of following the same way because it'll slow him down. There's an AMX M449 coming up to try and reset the cap it looks like. In fact it's two on cap now so there's a bit more of an imperative. M4's not even looking at Ravi. So he's sailing forth now he's looking at to reset. Ravi will get another shot in right now. Which uh, I think he might have shot just after the um, M4 was taken out. Alright, so now the capping is going on. This team's actually down a little bit in hit points, so it's uh, maybe capping is the right thing to do here. Although Ravi's still got 600 hit points, he doesn't want to walk out in front of the um, Strip S1 that's up on the hill. Or he was up on the hill, he's been taken out now. And in fact, his team have capped out. So Ravi's finished with 3.8k. All right, let's have a look at Ravi's results. Um, I've got the Ace Tanker Mastery badge there and a bunch of smaller medals. Um, 3.8k damages we saw and four kills. So let's have a look compared to the rest of the team. So 1327 gave him the base experience to get the Ace Tanker badge, which seems, yeah, about average. Um, ML1 actually did slightly more damage, it's nearly 4k, and um, the Type 59 did 1.6. Yeah, so they're the sort of top performing tanks, but um, let's, we'll have a further look at um, Ravi's performance there. But let's have a look at the other M3Y in the game, who only did 14.92, so he fired 18 shots, hit 16, so the gun handling looks pretty good. Really not sure what gun is running, but let's have a look. Six penetrations gave him 1400, so let's try that. 1400 divided by six is 233, so he wasn't firing the top gun in that case. All right, um, he was hit four times and penetrated four times, so his armor use wasn't that great, and we'll compare that to Ravi's in a second. So that uh, probably is enough of that. And Okay, so this is the details of Ravi's performance. He fired 17 shots, so almost the same as the other um, in 3Y. 14 hits, 12 penetrations, so slightly better on the pens. Um, and he was using the bigger alpha gun, so that gave him more damage out of the pens as well. Uh, and he got hit seven times, but only penetrated three times. So that shows Ravi at least using his armor a bit better. Um, if you have a look at the armor model, the tank's not GG, you'll see the side armor is actually pretty hard to pick out. Um, although it's definitely penetrable, the, depending on the side of the turret, it's probably a bit more uh, meaningful, and there's a lot more of it, as well as a target. Um, but you can see Ravi's ended up blocking 1080 by, by armor, which is not bad for a heavy tank. And uh, let's have the... the um, financial side. So he was playing in a platoon, so he got a bonus there, which is nice. He had some personal reserves running as well, which is good. He pretty much used standard ammo for the whole game and um, didn't use any consumable. So as a result, made 104,000 credit, which is pretty excellent for a um, tech tree tier eight. Uh, so that's pretty nice there. But again, you can see he didn't waste a whole lot of expensive ammo and um, yeah, you got a decent amount of damage there. Anyway, nice game there from Ravi, so thanks for the content. And uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please consider changing your mind on that one. We'll have more great content to follow, and thanks for watching.